White orcas protect their sons, but not their daughters. A male orca's best friend is his old mother. Female orcas prevent their sons from getting injured in fights. But only the female orcas, who are too old to breed, they don't protect their daughters in fights. This is surprising, but everything about orcas is. First of all, non-breeding animals are rare. Very few animals go through menopause. In fact, no one does, except humans and toothed whales, beluga whales, narwhals, and shortfin pilot whales. But orcas can live very long, compared to other predators. Female orcas stop bearing offspring around age 45. They can live for at least 16 more years. Orcas live in matriarchal social units. A pod is usually ruled by a grandmother. It also includes her male and female offspring. Her granddaughters are also part of the unit. Males will outbreed with females from other pods. However, both males and females will stay in their pod. Sons remain especially close to their mothers throughout their lives. Most of their behavior takes place underwater. This makes it difficult for researchers to observe, but they have studied two freight marks on orcas' hides. It's the scarring left behind when an orca bites another. They do it during rough play or fighting. Orcas have no natural predators. The subspecies studied only feeds on salmon. The tooth marks can only be inflicted by their own kind. Scientists analyzed thousands of tooth rate marks. Males who lived with their mothers had 45% fewer marks. Daughters, however, didn't have fewer tooth rakes. Females are probably less involved in conflict to begin with. Sons moreover breed with multiple females. So there's a higher chance of their mother passing on their genes. Maybe the grannies intervene directly when a fight is brewing. Perhaps they use vocalizations to call off their sons. It's unlikely that they get involved in fighting themselves. The grandmothers themselves have very low rates of scarring. Orcas are remarkable for this grandmother effect. The presence of grandmothers is important for their survival. It seems orcas have evolved longevity to care for their young. Orca grandmothers share their food with their grandchildren. Researchers analyzed the survival rate of 378 orca calves. All of them had living grandmothers. The result was somewhat unexpected. Once a grandmother died, the calf's chances decreased. This was especially noticeable when food supplies were scarce. Of course, many orcas become grandmothers before menopause. Females begin to mature around the age of 10. They reach peak fertility around 20. Orca pregnancy lasts between 15 and 18 months. That means that most orca grandmothers can still breed. But breeding grandmothers don't provide the same support. Non-breeding grandmothers lead young orcas to foraging grounds. This is especially significant when salmon is scarce. They also directly share food with their young relatives. Moreover, grandmas will babysit young orcas while their mothers are off hunting. They pass on their knowledge on where to find food. It looks like killer whales are closer to us than we thought.